guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel this is Ines here and we are in 2020 this is my first video of 2020 and as you already know guys I'm excited like 2019 has been the best year of my life and 2020 will be even better I hope this is the same for you guys but for now we are going to be recreating this look with me while I'm gonna be talking a lot of things we're gonna get ready and we're gonna do this look that I have on right now which is a little bit sexy and fun look maybe you can try this look for Valentine's Day but I felt like doing a sexy look like something charming we're gonna do our makeup we're gonna do our hair and we'll be talking about all this inside this video so yeah guys if you enjoy this keep on watching and okay so let's go on with the makeup as you guys already know usually when I do a makeup video or something like that I first start with my foundation which hasn't changed is the Fenty Beauty the number 420 and then I will go ahead with this one I'm sorry it looks like awful over here <laughs> but I will go with this one with the Maybelline 24 hour foundation in 356 so this one I will put around my eyes maybe because the Fenty Beauty is not like that consistent so it's very beautiful for the face and around the face but I prefer to go with that one uh, when it comes to around my eyes because I feel like my eyes are a little bit darker so I need something like really to cover up yeah so right now I'm gonna go in with my pro yeah. this concealer has been my favorite for so long I've tried so many other concealer it doesn't work like that it does not do it for me but yeah my first video of the year I'm feeling pretty excited now I'm just gonna go and just smooth it out like all over here I, I start with the right part and then I'm gonna go on the other side you know just put out before going on with the beauty blender so yeah I'm coming a lot with makeup videos and um, talking like get ready with me videos because I feel like this is one of the things that I love the most makeup and everything but I don't know why I just I don't do those kind of videos so much and I would like to do more of them in 2020 I also forgot to say that this year I want to answer all your relationship questions, all your relationship problems and questions that you have. I will answer them inside the makeup videos. So inside the makeup videos while chit-chatting with you, I will answer all those questions. So if you have any question you want for a relationship, a problem you may have or something you don't know what to do about, you can send me on this email or you can DM me on Instagram and I'll be so happy to answer you guys. This here is about helping you guys and I think this is a better way to bring the relationship topics that I like to talk about so much uh, so I can help you guys. And you know what's funny actually? I have been subscribed to uh, Charmbox like recently you know there was all that hype around charm bucks and i didn't understand why i was like why so many people are obsessed with charm bucks and i just found that it's amazing that they give a full-size product um for so little money you know and i never really understood that and if you know like good makeup is not cheap like it's not cheap at all like if you can get like few sephora products for only 25 dollars well it's actually 25 us so for me it's around a little bit more but it's still worth buying it you know and now as soon as i finish i will go ahead and take up my um, eco brush like a big fluffy brush and my mac prep and prime this is this this is the best primer that i've ever tried I've tried the Laura Mercier, it didn't work for me. I've tried a cheaper version like the NYS, uh, NYX. Yeah, the NYS didn't work for me either. You know, I just put it like this and then I close my eyes and I go over it. And I wanted to bring you that look that is like cute and sexy but not too much. So maybe you can try that on Valentine's Day because Valentine's Day is coming so let me go a little bit faster because i feel like this step is not so interesting you know so here we have our base but i still need to bake so that's what we're going to be doing now 
while i'm gonna be baking i start doing my contour so i'm taking this brush and i'm going with the smashbox contour and i'll be using this color in smashbox by the way all the product that i use will be listed down below so you want to be making like a kiss smoosh kiss 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 <laughs> And we're gonna go with the contour so I believe that my makeup has been like better now than it was for before so that's what we are doing that's what I'm showing you guys like the improved makeup skills that I have so uh, next just came back home he's making some noise but anyway so you're gonna go over here like the down part of your ears and you're gonna put a line over here another line over there and don't worry if it's like strong we're gonna blend that later on so still with the powder here you're gonna go under your chin a little bit of it and then just a little on the side but if you have a bigger forehead like i already have a, a, enough big forehead but if you have a bigger forehead you want to just go like a little more around but me i'm gonna do only the sides over here but i got a little bit interrupted by alex who's asking me uh, if we are going out <laughs> i'm like duh i have makeup on what do you think <laughs> oh my god i feel like the powder is gonna be all over my head before i finish so i'm gonna go and put on something over my head and i'll be just right back let me finish the contouring first so here is the easiest tip you can do for your nose contour we're gonna take this brush right here it's called the contouring brush by elf i love it it's not so expensive you can find it anywhere again with the dark color and we're gonna contour our nose and <laughs> i look like michael jackson or something that's funny then you're gonna take like a brush that's like to blend it that's a brush that something that looks like this so with that we want to blend our nose now look at this side and that side and i have to tell you guys again that we're not finished here we have a powder that's gonna go on to make all the contour look smoother and everything so okay so i'm back do you see what i meant by protecting the hair because we want our makeup to be beautiful but also our hair to be perfect now i'm gonna go with the nc50 by mac uh, you can see it right there anyways it's gonna be down and with the 91 the 91 brush by sephora this is the powder is meant to just smooth everything out so that's what we are going to do By the way, have you seen guys the watch that I have on my wrist? Like the Fitbit watch. I swear, you guys know already that I'm on a weight loss journey and this watch has been everything for me. I swear, like if you guys are struggling to lose weight and maybe you're starting the new year with objectives and everything, getting yourself a Fitbit or any like tracking watch is the first step like it makes me like get up when i don't want to get up it makes me run when i don't feel like doing anything you know it's very practical i can tell you you need this in your life and by the way i'm uh, i don't know what did you think about uh, the honeymoon videos like i know that these videos i feel like people did enjoy it so much because we were not talking a lot and uh, the reason why is that it was our honeymoon so it was not like a travel vacation that i was supposed even supposed to film but i was like i want to share this part of our life with you you guys have been there since the start and i know some of you might be like yes where 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 is the wedding the way the wedding is coming up like i said in the first honeymoon video like someone asked me like Ines, are you gonna release the wedding and I said, of course, I'm going to release the weddings or else why would I be talking about the wedding for so long and not release it? Of course, I'm going to release it, but I haven't had the, the footage yet. So that's why I haven't seen it myself. Nobody has seen it, but that's it. We are still waiting on the wedding footage. That's why I have not put on my wedding video yet, but it's going to be up. 
maybe for Valentine's Day, who knows, it's gonna be perfect if that. Uh, yeah, and are you guys excited for Valentine's Day? Does it mean something to you? For me, Valentine's Day is pretty relaxed, but I'm excited. You see what I mean? So now that I've put it all over my face and you can see that the lines around my nose are less like visible, they are more blended. Like my nose is like pointy but like naturally, you know? So my personal thought on the honeymoon was that it was magical. Like I cannot tell you, I cannot stress enough how fun it was for me and for Alex. We're gonna start off with, you have to start off with a light, somewhat of a, not so light color, but something a little bit reddish, like something right here. This is what I'm gonna start with, with the BH brush, the number is 101, just a little bit like that. I want it to go like all over my lid and be very light, you know? And yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, I had my 30th birthday, like I'm 30 now. I, I wanted to make a video about it, but after the holidays and everything, I got so like caught up and I was like, oh my God, when I'm gonna make that video? But yeah, I'm probably gonna make a video like sharing the things I've learned by the years, like of me now being 30. Maybe I can have like some things that you guys might not know. And it's funny because I made a list of 30 things that I wanted to do before I get 30 and I didn't make that list happen. So my thing is for this year, maybe make uh, the list happen, you know? Like I got a whole year when I, while I'm gonna be 30, so might as well I can keep on doing what I wanted to do while I'm 30. I've shown the list to Alex and he was laughing, so. <laughs> That can give you an idea of all the crazy stuff that I've read on the list. Do you want to know my list when I do the maybe 30 things I've learned in 30 years or something like that? Do you want to do the list? Like tell me in the comments down below if you want to know the actual list and you want to laugh or get inspired. Now that I'm done with that, like I'm going with something simple. This is not like uh, Nikki tutorials or something like that. Maybe I can try this one. I'll go with this one. And after that, I might change the palette because I'm not seeing the colors that I want. I'm taking an angle brush just to put this because I feel like it's easier for me to do this around here. You can see what I'm doing. It's kind of not a ring liner, but we are trying to do something here. You have to stay, I feel like when you do a color, you have to stay in the same tones, you know? I will go with this one. It's like a purple, very dark purple one. I will go with this one. And as you can see, it goes very, very well together. Inside, I'm gonna go with my hands. So it's gonna be the inside of my eyes right here. You're gonna see it. So I'm gonna take the cashmere in the Desert Dust palette by Huda Beauty. So the cashmere is kind of a silver color. I start by doing it with my hands, but then after that, you need to go in precision on the outside. So now I need to blend around everything. Now I feel like this is looking kind of perfect. So I'm gonna go with the tattoo liner, the Tropper Black. Sorry, I've started a little bit here. I was forgetting to tell you that you're supposed to go with this one. Okay, now let me come back with the lashes on. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I just put on the fake lashes. And now I need to go on with the mascara. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Paris Unlimited Mascara. This is not the mascara that I use, like, normally. But my telescopic ones is empty right now. So I have no choice than to use this one. If I show you like that, can you see the difference on this eye and this eye? Like that, I don't know if I'm gonna do the under lashes. Yeah, maybe a little bit. The highlighting powder. So the one that I use is Wet and Wild Mega Glow. I love that highlighter so much. So where I put it is with my hand. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go here over my eyes. Then on my nose, just here like that. 
there you go blended and done and then I'm gonna go here Oof, that's a lot that's a lot of highlight but anyways and now what do you think is missing <laughs> I have two things actually. The first is gonna be my cheeks. That I'm gonna go with this, and it gives a little pinky cheeks. And like I said, for the eyebrow, I go with a brown pencil, regular brown pencil. This one is from Annabelle 014 Medium Brown. And at first, I'm just gonna go and brush my brows like a regular brow brushing. in the same way of your natural ball and there you go i'm done with the brows so for the lips very simple we're gonna go with the brown pencil by urban decay do you guys remember that in one of my videos i forgot about this pencil and i was like what is this and it's actually you guys who remembered me what was the pencil it was little like that and everybody said whiskey from Hermit Decay, so I was able to go buy it. And anyways, I think on Sephora on the website you can still see it, but I didn't pay close attention to that. And now, here it is. So this is what I do my contour of my lips with. Even though my lips are naturally like contoured darker, but I just go on over it. I'm gonna take one of my new favorite by Yuda Beauty. This is a color that I totally like. It's Joyride and I think this is one of the most popular colors. So I'm gonna go on my lips with it. And let's see how my lips become voluptuous and flawless. Mm, I just love that deep color. I feel like it's a color that goes well on someone who's darker of a skin tone and someone who's lighter of a skin tone but you need to really contour if you want something that's a little bit more classy and everything so right now i feel very sexy already and valentine's is not here yet so let's put this aside and let's go do the hair <laughs> so what i'm going to be using this thing right here which is a hot comb the duval which is this beautiful one that I got from Devol. It's a hair curler. It's beautiful since it's pink and I love everything pink. And now I just set it on. It's gonna get hot very quick. It gets very, very, very hot. You even get this to hold your hair with while you're using this thing because it's really, 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 really hot actually. A little comb, big comb. And I'm gonna be using this to protect my hair from the heat. So. And when you curl it, you want to curl it away from the face, as always. That's why I say that you probably already seen this on YouTube and everywhere, that you need to curl it away from the face. Do you see the beautiful curl that it did? I'm super excited. So here, and clearly hair really has quality hair, so it's very easy to work with this hair. And that's what I love. Here's what it looks like for now. And for that, I'm very thankful to have this Duval device curler, hair curler, because it pulls away a little bit the hair. Oh my god, the curls are wonderful. I have to tell you that. Okay, so here's the final look as you guys already saw it in the beginning of the video. This is what the hair looks like. 
I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. It was a true pleasure to do that with you guys. And I'm gonna be doing some more beautiful look like this for you this year because I'm trying to get better, you know? I'm trying to change a little bit, switch a little bit, you know? And come up with new looks and everything like that. So this is the sexy uh, Valentine's Day look. Hi guys, thank you very much for watching. If you are new here, please make sure to subscribe. I do vlogs, I do beauty videos, and I talk about relationships. So yeah. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.